News, your breaking weather leader with your certified most accurate forecast. Here's meteorologist Luke Victor. Well, starting off uh, the end of September, I should say, when we haven't gotten quite to October yet. We're pretty close, though. We're seeing pretty nice stuff out there. It's actually a little bit more like summer than it is early fall around here. Temperatures uh, into tomorrow afternoon, once again, going to get into the 70s and 80s for most of the Pikes Peak region. Expecting those temperatures to once again get pretty close to the 90 degree mark as you slip your way across the highway 50 quarter and out over the southeastern plains. Looks like for tomorrow, that's probably going to be the peak of our temperatures for the next seven or so days before we start to see those temperatures slowly climb back down into the 70s and 80s for most folks. But in general, most of us going to be above average through much of this seven day forecast. And then as we get into Saturday and Sunday, watching for a storm system to approach, that's going to kick up our winds pretty good. Saturday through Monday, we're likely going to be dealing with some elevated fire danger across most of southern Colorado. We've got quite a bit of dry grasses out there that have just been kind of not really receiving all too much water over the past couple of months. They grew up really good with all of that rain that we saw in much of May and June, and now we're just kind of waiting to see how we're going to have to deal with this here as we get into the drier fall months. And along with that wind, again, that fire danger is going to become a little bit more of a concern. Here's a peek at what wind gusts are going to be looking like by Saturday afternoon. You can see they'll come out of the south and southwest, anywhere between 25 to even as high as upwards of 40 miles per hour, especially over parts of the southeastern plains. And a pretty similar story looks to be developing as we head into Sunday afternoon as well as we see widespread 20, 30, and even 40 mile per hour wind gusts. That's kind of the perfect recipe to get that fire danger really starting to kick across our region. Those temperatures won't be too, too bad though. We'll see 80s and 90s, some 70s for our higher terrain locations. So in general, other than those gusty winds, the weather should be okay out there in terms of temperatures. A peek at that seven day forecast to show those winds picking up in Colorado Springs starting Saturday, probably at their most widespread and gustiest on Sunday. And then we'll continue to see a little bit of a breeze hanging around as we get into Monday too. Other than that, really not watching those temperatures budge all too much other than maybe a slight cool down as we get into early parts of next week. I do have my eye by the end of next week of maybe a stronger cold front rolling through the region. I'll just leave you that uh, for now. But for uh, other places like Pueblo, Canyon City, it looks like we're going to be dealing with a pretty similar seven day with lots of sunshine to go around, much warmer than average temperatures and keeping things dry through early next week. We'll be back after the break.